All right, mates, how's it going? In today's video, chapter eight of Shadows Rising by Madeline Rue. One Sam D has a little gift for Zakan, which isn't actually a gift for a number of reasons. So let's go. We make quite a team, little zappy boy. Talanji had commanded Zakan to wait outside while she addressed the Zanchuli Council's concerns about the recent attack, but she'd failed to mention that the Lower of Graves would be keeping him company. Your, your one Sandy. What could you want with me? Ah, so your mouth does work, and your eyes. I could want one thing from you, and that's to give him a thanks. Thank me? For what? Protecting my investment. Zakan had grown up with tales of the tricks to God, and yet that still hadn't exactly prepared him to deal with the real thing. What if he said something stupid, or did something inappropriate? <laughs> your lives are all so adorably fleeting. You come and go, but some of you be coming and going in more interesting ways. I don't know if that's true. Feels like I'm just in the right place at the right time. And? How do you think the powerful become that way? It ain't always the smarts, let me assure you. The voices from within the council chamber grew louder, more agitated. I don't want power. I just want to make the Horde Council happy. They sent me to watch the Queen, that's all I am to do. Bon Samdi then stroked his chin thoughtfully and leaned in closer. So what do you think of her then? Our Queen. I think she's in trouble. You see clearly, boy. There is trouble everywhere. A sickness festers. Here, with your horde, and in my own domain. Zakan swallowed, but his throat felt like razor blades. Bon Samdi drew closer still, sizing him up, and chuckled at the fear deep within the young jungle troll's eyes. Your eyes show me everything, boy. It is time I showed you my gratitude. You helped me save the queen twice now, and that deserves a gift. Will you accept? Zakan could practically hear his wise granny screaming at him from beyond the grave. There's a reason they call him the trickster god. What's the gift? Can't tell you that, but I can tell you this. It is a vision of death, a vision you'll be wanting to see. How about a gift for a gift, hmm? Take this vision of death from me. In return, you make sure one thing happens. If I have to give you something in return, then it's not a gift. Do you want it or not, boy? Just the second time in as many days that Zakan felt like he wasn't really being given a choice here. What do I have to do? The Zandalari must remain with the Horde. She must sit on the council. Use all your considerable charms, boy, and make her see that this is the only way. It'd be best for Zandalar, and even better, best for me. Huh. Maybe it wasn't a trick. Zakan was in Zaldazar for exactly that reason anyway. Why can't you convince her? The Queen doesn't like to take advice from old one Samdi, but she might just listen to you, hmm? Okay, show me the vision. And then, the world went dark, and for a long moment, all was quiet. Zakan couldn't help but think he'd made a massive mistake, and one Samdi had just killed him. But, a different world then appeared around him, with mountains, and a sea of grass, and a bunch of Talbuk running around. Zakan reached out to touch the long grass, only to find it wasn't actually his hand at all. It was a much larger, stronger hand, scarred from war. Father, that was an easy shot. Don't tell me your age has made you soft. An orc then approached with a familiar face. Wake up. Another herd approaches. I wonder I'll have our hides if we return empty-handed. Memories flooded Zakan, but they were not his own. Memories of a wife named Remda, and a son named Dranosh. His chest flooded with pain before turning sweet. Varok Sarfang had come home, and was finally reunited with his family in death. Father? Yes, I'm ready, Dranosh. Lead on. And then the world went black again. Reeling, Zakan touched his own face to find it was troll-shaped again, and could feel the tears rolling down his cheeks. And as the world he knew reappeared and one Samdi stared at him, he sank back gratefully against the chamber door. Will it be like that for me? Will my father be waiting for me? Now that would ruin the surprise. Did you see what you needed to see? I think so. <laughs> Little Zakan walking in the footsteps of giants. But keep your eyes up, eh? Even giants trip. And we're leaving it there! But well, that was pretty emotional. It would be nice to believe Saofang went on to have a blissful afterlife, wouldn't it? And on the flip side, it would suck balls if that vision wasn't actually true. As usual, link in the description if you're interested in buying this book. Also, there's links to my Discord server and my Patreon page too. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, all of that bollocks. And all that's left to say is, thanks for watching, and see ya!